<laughs> Look her over. <laughs> Climb every mountain. <laughs> Go on, Sir Edmund Hillary. Well, like, I was wondering, like, love, if you'd, uh, like, uh, like to... Get out of it. <laughs> Whether you'd like to, uh, yes, well, have a seat, will you? Sit down there. Oh, I say, yes. Yeah. Well, that... Get out of it. We'll, uh, we'll have these off for a start. We don't need those. It's, uh, Miss, uh... Miss Moore. Any relation to don't have any more, Mrs. Moore? <laughs> Miss Nemony Moore. Nemony. Nemony. What? It's a pretty name. Ah, what are you gawking at? Well, haven't you got something to put to her? I mean, ask her a question. <laughs> ask her a question. There's only one question I want to ask. Uh, when can you start? As soon as you want me. Oh, well, that's settled then, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be so fast. Aren't you going to test her out? <laughs> now, in front of you. Take down her particulars. <laughs> I don't have to. They're all in order. <laughs> Will be. I don't think I've met this, sir. Uh, this lady. Well, I suppose you could call her that. <laughs> now, let me see. How is it best to describe her? Yes, she's our Miss N. Pledge. How do you do? Breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought perhaps it might be Mrs. Pledge. <laughs> <laughs> you mean my mother? <laughs> Can I have a word in your ear all? <laughs> in the antechamber room. <clears throat> you what? You know, where we executioners go when what? there's some trouble brewing. <clears throat> in the parlour, you big girl's blouse. <laughs> Excuse us, enema. <laughs> now, where would you like it, love? <laughs> would you like it by the window or with your back to the fire? <laughs> well, it's been nice here. Away. Oh, that's our Nelly's rubber plant. Chuck it out at window. Are you sure? Aye, ah, it's senile. It's sucking all the goodness out the air. <laughs> it does look a bit evil. <laughs> it strangled cat last week, did that? <laughs> hey, Nemony no nix. And might I ask what, uh, who's flitting? I mean, uh, why and to work? Nemony is flitting to do here. It's a new office. Oh, yeah? What, in my parlour? <laughs> Says who? Says me, as Joint Managing Director, so get knotted. <laughs> She's not bringing her bits and pieces into my parlour where my f dad was lay-lying, lie dead. Well, you never use it. Well, parlours are not for using. I mean, they're for keeping. For what? Things. <laughs> not things like that, either. <laughs> Uh, funerals and <coughs> when it's our turn to have them at Christmas. All right. <laughs> like me, Auntie May, who sang one chorus of dry and dreaming of a white Christmas, not soot fell down bloody chimney. <laughs> well, this is not an office, and she can go to the factory. Hey, come here, the Norma Zurich. <laughs> She's a private secretary, right? Right. She's got to have privacy, right? Right. That's the law, right? Right. 1950s Act, the, uh, the uh, Parliamentary Act of 1955, right? Right. Right. Warehouses, offices, outside lavatories. That's where she can go. <laughs> where? Outside lavatory. <laughs> right? Get flushed. Oh. Come on. <laughs> I found it, Eli. Uh, that writing machine. All right. I've been holding down the roof of your dad's pigeon loft. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't write pigeon English. <laughs> it's a joke. Put it there, Bert. Bert, 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 down, Bert, down. I'll stop your bones. <laughs> right, come on, love. Let's get working. Come on, get round there, Nemedy. There we are. Now, ah, Miss Nemedy needs a chair. Miss M. Pledge, would you get Nemedy a chair, please? Uh, Mr. Eli Pledge, take a double-breasted bowl of chalk and get one yourself. <laughs> Charming, isn't it, eh? Right. Sit yourself down, love. There we go. I want you to do a, a memo. To, uh, from the senior executive to all the working classes over there. 